Good morning, you guys. Today is Wednesday. It is my anniversary. What? We've been married 20 years today and we have no special plans. We'll probably just eat at home. Um, we don't celebrate our anniversary necessarily in a big way because we tend to celebrate our marriage and our love every day. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's true. That's what really happens. So today, in fact, talking about fun ways to celebrate your anniversary, the Maytag Repairman is coming today. Sometime, originally it was scheduled between eight and four, and now we've narrowed down the time between 11 and two. So at least we have it narrowed down a little bit more. And that's my plan for today. I didn't get as much done yesterday because I had a migraine all day. And so I've got callbacks to make and I've got, uh, I might be doing a showing on a house. I've got a gal coming up to the office to visit with me. So I need to finish getting ready. I'm getting ready early or early for me. Normally I get to the office about 9.30 or 10 and it's only 8.41 in the morning. What? And I'm already getting ready and I'm about to leave. I'm just going to put on a little bit of mascara and Hope for the best. No, I did put on, I mean, obviously I put on some makeup or I think it looks obvious. I don't know, maybe it doesn't. I am leaving my hair to dry naturally again. That's just what I'm kind of what I'm into right now. Plus it's getting hotter in Texas, so my hair dries kind of, not fast. Um, actually my hair, I feel like my hair dries slow, if you want to be honest, but uh, I just like to let it naturally air dry if I can. And if I'm gonna to go to an event or something, then I'll try to do something. If it stayed this soft looking all day, it, I would be fine. But sometimes it straightens out a little bit and just looks like, oh, you really didn't do anything with your hair today. So anyway, I'm babbling about my hair, which doesn't matter. I don't know, maybe I'll try to make something special for Marvin for dinner tonight. Um, if not, I think the church is having their table fellowshipping. They're having a barbecue this time, I think. Uh, I think. I keep saying I think. I think I'll, I'll find out for sure. But it's at City Lake Park if I read correctly. So uh, we might do that for our anniversary. What? It's also our pastor and his, um, our pastors, Brad and Kate, their anniversary today. So happy anniversary, guys, if you're watching this. I don't know that they watch my vlog. My vlog is kind of like the vlog. You know, Rachel and Dave Hollis, they talk about their morning show that no one is talking about and no one knows about. That, that's my vlog. No one knows and no one's talking about it. It's the, um, but it's awesome still. And one day, I'm gonna look back on this and go, remember when, like nobody knew about my vlog. And maybe, maybe at that time, nobody will still know about my vlog, but that's okay. I'm having fun doing this. But I'm gonna get on my day because if not, I'm just gonna stay in here talking for like 30 minutes about nothing. And I need to go get a hot chocolate, do hot chocolate chat and get some phone calls returned and help some folks get a house. Cause we're gonna go house looking probably today. My eyes are watering and I'm trying to dab, dab, not that kind of dab. I'm trying to dab my eyes versus like wipe or pull at my eyes. Anyway, all right guys, let's go. Did I show you, did I show you what I'm wearing? I don't know if I did or not, but was I even in frame just then? I don't know. So here's what I'm wearing. Just a plain, plain white top, but it's actually like a tunic style because it comes down low and then it comes down low over my bottom. So that's nice. I don't have a completer piece on or like a jacket or anything like that, but okay. And also it's, a, it's kind of linen-y material. So it, it looks really wrinkly. Uh, but skinny jeans and animal print shoes, leopard, cheetah, I don't know. It's an animal. And my makeup's on. Well, it looks like I have like no, like I have a giant forehead. So my makeup's on and now I'm headed to get a hot chocolate and get the rest of my day started. So let's zoom. All I want to do is zoom, 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 zoom. I don't even know the song. I am at the post office and look, I got a key, which means I have a big package, which means Rubbermaid has sent my um, set of containers that I get to share one with y'all. I'm going to do a giveaway. <gasps> yeah. y'all 
and welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks. It got messy, but it's so good. I'm letting my hair dry uh, naturally today, air drying it. I don't have lipstick on, so I need to do that because I feel like I have no lips. But y'all, I wanted to talk about playing games online and not like games with people's minds, but I'm talking like games. I play words with friends. I play Pokemon Go. And yeah, I still do. I do. I do. My handle or is that what you call it? My user ID. How you find me over there is my name is Our Gray House. Anyway, I'm only like level 25 on Pokemon Go. So it's not like I'm like super advanced. And I mostly just catch Pokemon. It's not like I'm trying to battle anybody or do any raid battles or whatever they're calling the new things now. But I, I am best friends with a couple people now. Because I think you have to be best friends with somebody to do something. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, so I'm best friends with a couple people. And then on um, Words with Friends, I'm playing that. I'm our gray house over there too. But like, it, here's the thing with Words with Friends. I feel like, like, I feel like some people cheat. <laughs> I said it. There, I said it. I said it. Because some of the words that people use, I for real do not think that they could use them in a sentence. Like, I would, mm -mm, you don't know what that word means. And I'm guilty as well, not of cheating, but of using words that I don't necessarily know the meaning. Uh, because I, I don't know what QI means. I just looked it up. QI is the circulating life force that's the basis of a lot of Chinese philosophy or something like that. Still could not use it in a sentence. Oh, you've got a lot of... Hang, hang on. <laughs> Qui, qi, shi, I don't even know how to pronounce it, y'all. It's pronounced chi. You got a lot of chi. But it's, it's spelled Q-I. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today. So, if you play games online, do you think people cheat at Words with Friends? Yes or no? And is Pokemon Go still a thing? I think it is, but let me know. Also, if you want to be friends over there, my name's Our Gray House. <laughs> Feel free to add me. And if you want to follow me on Snapchat, it's Side of Awesome. And on Instagram, YouTube, Words with Friends 2, and Pokemon Go, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, y'all, because that's creepy. Hey y'all, I went to the post office and I think I showed you guys, but I got this box trying to make room on this messy counter. I'm cleaning up y'all, I'm cleaning up, I swear. Hey y'all, I don't know if it taped right, so I'm starting over, but I got this package from Rubbermaid. It's their Brilliance line. It's 100% airtight and leak proof, so you can actually put liquids inside. I have not tried it yet, but I will because I'm, I'm just so excited about this. I have a friend that uses it instead of just like the traditional toss type containers, the ones that you don't care if you lose or not. These are much nicer, so I definitely wouldn't want to lose them and or if I give them to you with something in it, I want it back. Just saying. But I'm so excited about this because I already have some of these, these ones down here, and I love them. I absolutely love them. I think they look sleek. I don't think they look too clunky in my pantry. I love how they, the way that they make them look. But also, also, here is the spaghetti one. That's the one, that's the one I was wanting. The spaghetti one. So I'm super, super excited about that. Plus it also has like one that you could do for, um, grains it says like pasta and then another cereal one so i'm excited about that i already have the flour and the sugar one i already have one for my brown sugar but the other ones i'm really excited about so i'll be showing you guys that more soon and i've got to get caught up on my postings because this box is going to be in a giveaway and I want you guys to be able to win. And I want to be able to show it to you and not, you see it later and go, wait a minute, didn't she already have that giveaway? Yeah, so my content 
that I'm producing is due to the representative by Friday. So I'm going to shoot some pictures tonight and tomorrow and write up my content and get it sent over early, a day early. And then also in the mail today, I got every plate America's best value meal kit. Never tried it before. Riley, my friend, uh, has been trying it. It says, oh, hey, it's about to smell great in here. <laughs> okay, I hope so. It's also my anniversary today. So happy 20 years to me and Mr. Har. And so maybe I'll make something yummy for us for dinner, but I might be showing a house in an hour. I'm waiting for her to text me to see if she wants to go see it. So I'm gonna open up my laptop, get that prepped and ready to go, just in case she wants to schedule something, I can do that really quickly, and then be ready to head out. But I'll start opening this in a second. So here we are opening the box. I have never done, like, I've never done every plate, I've never done blue apron, I've never done any of the other ones that come in a box like this, I've just never done them. But, or I think Hello Fresh isn't that one too? I don't know. Anyway, I'm trying this one. And um, it comes with three meals of stuffed, smothered and stuffed meatloaf, meat loaves. And I've got uh, soy glazed chicken. It's another option as well as creamy chicken bake. So we've got some options, recipes, everything. And everything is supposed to be inside this box. So this comes packaged with this like foamy stuff. And so like right there, I thought that was chicken, so I was like, that, that chicken feels weird. So we made the soy glazed chicken. It was not the easiest thing we've ever done, but we did it, and it turned out okay. Um, let me try to get the picture to show you two. So this is what it's supposed to look like. And then this is what it actually looks like. So, I mean, pretty much the same. Yeah. It's pretty good. What do you think, babe? Mm, I love it. Awesome. The other thing is the carrots were a little bit cold, but they had been sitting on the plate and I didn't heat them back up. Maybe the direction said to, I don't remember, but overall, turned out pretty good. Dinner was fantastic. We keep saying dinner was fantastic, and it was. Now we're watching NYPD Blue, and I'm gonna get some work done and prep for tomorrow. I didn't end yesterday's vlog, so I'm gonna end it right now. At least I don't think I did. Maybe I'll watch it back and go, oh gosh, yes you did. So I'll recap dinner and our anniversary date, tomorrow's vlog. So tune in tomorrow. Check out the next vlog. All right, don't forget to be kind. See you tomorrow, bye. So I actually see you tomorrow though. It's it's really just see you in a few minutes if you're watching the next one.